Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our series of health lectures entitled COVID-19 series. And for this morning, we will be starting with our first topic. This topic is entitled to cover. Now, we will have first a quick review about our discussion about the um, center of our discussion for the whole series. But before that, let us bow down our heads for a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our great God, loving Heavenly Father, Lord, as we will study these lessons for this morning, help us, Lord, to listen, to understand, and to apply these messages in our daily lives. Help us, Lord, to um, uh, be focused on this matter and take these things seriously lord and help me lord as i um speak of these words of your words this morning forgive us from the things we have committed in thoughts words and deeds in christ's name we pray amen so let's have a quick review about covid 19. Now, this certain disease certain virus have ravaged the world with death and fear now this COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Most people infected with the virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Now, I can really attest to this and I can really relate with uh, this topic. Why? Because I, I was um, a survivor. I was a victim of COVID-19. I was tested positive last August, and I was um, quarantined, isolated for 21 days. So I was alone in that room with um, many symptoms. I was not asymptomatic. I had lots of symptoms. I had no taste, and I can smell, and um, chest pain, headache, um, the uh, dizziness. I think I had I acquired dizziness. Um, uh, I forgot other symptoms. I also had high fever at that time. So I can really relate to this topic. Now, however, someone will become seriously ill and require medical attention. But um, I praised God that despite the many symptoms that I experienced, I was. Uh, I did not experience a serious um, condition, a serious uh, symptom at that time. So I, I recovered after the quarantine, after being isolated for 21 days. And uh, that moment, that experience uh, made me realize that it's not the, these, the symptoms that will kill you. It's the fear, it's the depression, the stress that um, you experience of being alone there, overthinking about uh, your condition, reading about experiences from other people who have experienced uh, serious um, um, symptoms about COVID-19, waiting every day uh, what, symptom, sim what symptoms will I acquire next or uh, anything that will make you even more depressed and stressed. So uh, I was really... Um, I was really filled with anxiety and depression at that time. So, uh, let's continue. Older people and those with underlying medical conditions are more likely to develop serious illness. And anyone can get sick with COVID-19 and become seriously ill or die at any age. So, COVID-19 is not a respecter of people. It does not choose an age group, race, um, gender, or what it covers it spreads to anyone from all walks, walks of life. The virus can spread from an infected person's mouth or nose in small liquid particles when they cough, sneeze, speak, sing, or breathe. So um, here is what makes COVID-19 so infectious. It really it, um, spreads so fast. Why? Because it's, it is through small liquid particles hanging in the air. So you, you won't know that the place you, are, you went to have COVID-19 there. 
you don't know that the people, the person beside you already have COVID-19. So that makes it more scary. So this um, <clears throat> facts come, came from uh, the World Health Organization. It's re really a reliable source for this topic. Now globally, as of uh, 5.50 p.m., <clears throat> December 28, 2021, there have been 280 <clears throat> million confirmed cases of COVID-19. Wow! No, it's not wow about um, from being amazed, but it's kind of it's a wow because it's uh, kind of scary. You know? It's really it feels fear. It instills fear that these numbers um, of confirmed COVID cases around the world it includes which in also includes five million deaths. Imagine five million deaths. Millions of people have died because of this disease. It is reported by the World Health Organization. And here's a fact. The World Dometer um, tallied that Philippines is ranked 20 in the most number of cases around the world. Ranked 20. Our nation, our country, Philippines, is ranked 20 the most number of cases imagine that now <clears throat> as we read you know, the social media as we hear from tele um, radio radio television and other stuff even uh, the gossips of our neighbors we, we are always filled with um, news about COVID-19 every day we hear people dying there dying there and there we hear um, people getting infected here, get, getting infected there, or we can hear um, lots of stores closing, economies going down, etc, etc. Even our favorite um, National Basketball Association, the NBA, have, um, were suspended for a um, extended time, uh, extended amount of time. So, we are, we are filled with anxiety as to is there any hope for us? Is there any hope for our condition of, in these days? What must be done? Now, here's the thing. There is. Actually, there is hope. Here comes prevention. There's a hope for um, <clears throat> being involved in the battle against COVID-19. So, this um, series will cover the the preventions against COVID-19. So the first one that we will be talking about is the mask. The face mask. Just a face mask will do more, more things that you expect than you expected. The face mask is according to the kidshealth.org and Pfizer.com. So we know Pfizer because of the vaccine, right? Now, <laughs> experts agree that wearing face masks can, pro can protect <clears throat> people's health and slow the spread of COVID-19. That's COVID-19. That's because the novel coronavirus can be transmitted through respiratory droplets. So why is face mask um, effective and efficient? Because... Um, since the enemy, the unseen, uh, un, I mean unseen enemy, is um, um, high, is through the droplets in the air, using face mask will what? Will se secure or protect our mouth and our um, nose from from inhaling, uh, inhaling the virus from um, from being transmitted with those droplets in the air. That's um, droplets that get into the air from sneezing, coughing, or even speaking. So, um, when you um, hear someone sneezing at your back, so you can really um, be... It's not that you are um, safe or assured, but if you have a face mask, it's give, it gives you a, some sort of a protection. You can distance yourself 
and also you can be um, assured that you have a a first line of defense against COVID-19. So a mask acts as a barrier stopping those air uh, those droplets before they reach another person. COVID-19 can spread when people breathe, talk, cough, or sneeze, just like what we have discussed earlier. Wearing a mask keeps the virus from reaching others, and it also stops the virus from reaching you. So it it um, serves a dual dual purpose. It protects you from um, <clears throat> being from getting infected with the COVID nineteen, and it also um, if you have COVID nineteen, it also um, prevents you from spreading the virus from uh, to different people in your area so an added bonus is that masks stop people from touching their mouth and faces also since it the virus um is through droplets it will um stick to different surface area surfaces and you touch those surfaces now the virus is in your hand and it if you touch your nose and your mouth just like um it's some sort of a reflex right so if you touch your nose and your mouth, then you get infected. So if you have mask, it prevents you from, from what? It prevents you, it stops you from touching your nose and your mouth since it already has a cover. So contaminated hands are another way for the virus to, to spread. The World Health Organization advises us to what? To uh, use masks as part of a comprehensive package of prevention and control measures to limit the spread of SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Though <clears throat> mask alone cannot <clears throat> um, prevent us, completely prevent us from COVID-19. So there are a series of processes, other, I mean processes, that will help us um, uh, be protected against COVID-19. So one of that is the face mask and it plays a huge role in the battle against this unseen enemy the face mask friends and now that we have um talked about the significance you know, the the essence of the face mask in this warfare against this pandemic we will um be talking about our spiritual journey so in our spiritual journey we should also wear masks. Is it literal? Does it mean you should always you should wear masks in church? Is uh, being in church only is being in church the only way that you can have a spiritual journey? What does this mean? What does this statement mean? In a spiritual journey, we should also wear masks. Now. When we asked, when we asked, uh, sorry, we'll get, let's get back to the previous slide. When, when I said we should also wear masks, what's the purpose of wearing masks in our spiritual journey? What's this mask? What's the purpose? Why are you covered? What, why, why will we, where will we cover? I mean, what will we cover it, cover our mouths, our noses from? James chapter 5 uh, I mean chapter 3 verse 5 to 8 answers these questions so also the tongue is a small thing but what enormous damage it can do a great forest can be set on fire by one tiny spark just one spark and it can cause a great forest fire you know, we can we have heard about a sad news uh, I, I guess that's from last year, 2020, a great forest fire that ravaged the Australian continent, the Australia, I mean. So that um, news really saddened, saddened me because there are, saddened me because there are lots of, um, uh, the, uh, Australia has a diverse environment, ecosystem. There are lots of animals there. And really sad to hear news that they have, been uh, ravaged by a forest fire now let's go back to the verses and the tongue is a flame of fire so Apostle James um, <clears throat> illustrates the 
tongue and its, destruct and its destructive force as a great forest fire. And the tongue is that tiny spark of flame. It is a full, it is full of weakness and poisons every part of the body. And the tongue is set on fire by hell itself and can turn our whole lives into a blazing flame of destruction and disaster. Men have trained <clears throat> or can train every kind of animal or bird that lives in every kind of reptile and fishes. But no human being can tame the tongue. It is always ready to pour out its deadly poison. Why are we using face masks in our spiritual journey? Why are what are we uh, covering it from? Why are we covering our mouth? It's because of what? It's because of our tongues. Apostle James said it said that the tongue is a what? A destructive force. And if we um <clears throat> and if we don't cover it, just like a forest fire, it causes a lots of serious damage. It spreads like a forest fire. Friends, the tongue is as destructive as COVID-19 or maybe even more. In um, COVID-19, um, it, it can be transmitted <laughs> in the air through droplets. Um, later, a few days later, you will experience the symptoms. But in the case of our tongue, it, 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 what? It, it attacks directly. It hurts some persons, some people directly. And it spreads like a wildfire. It hurts people and it, it uh, can trample lots of people like a, a pieces of domino. That's how destructive a tongue is. Friends, um, in the Bible, there are lots of um, verses that also talks about the tongue. Now, when we discussed about COVID-19 earlier, we asked, is there any hope for us? And we have found out that there is. Now, the, for the case of the tongue, is there any hope? Are there any... Um, positive things that the Bible talks about when it mentions about the tongue the lips and mouth in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 6 it says hear for I will speak noble things and from my lips will come what is right friends the tongue does not only um cannot uh, cannot only be used uh, through um, uttering hurtful words but the tongue can also be used in speaking that which is right speaking noble things instead of spreading um, for a uh, hurtful words instead of spreading lies spreading um, things about the uh, about people you can spread what Spread what is right and noble things through your tongue, through your mouth. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 says, Therefore, having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Speak of the truth. Instead of speaking, uh, I mean, early in the morning, just uh, they discuss how uh, they people coined the term martes in the Philippines, right? Early in the morning, instead of um, being a martes, you know, talking about other pe other people in your community to your neighbor, instead of doing that, you can utilize this destructive force with speaking about the truth. The truth, nothing but the truth. Titus 2 verse 1 to 8 verses 1 to 8 says but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine and sound speech that cannot be condemned 
that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed having no evil thing evil thing to say of you now these bible verses gives gives us hope that the tongue does not only um not only be used by spreading hurtful words it is not only a destructive force but it can be a source of sound doctrine and sound speech and if we relate this to our topic we we remember what proverbs 16 4 the a famous um memory verse song it says pleasant words are as a honeycomb sweet to the soul and health to the bones and we, if we relate these verses to our topic to cover friends let us cover our mouth our nose our tongue for, with what with a honeycomb and um king solomon uses uh honeycomb as an illustration to pleasant words let us cover our tongues with pleasant words a honeycomb that the people will hear what sound speech sound doctrine sweet to the soul and health to the bones even <coughs> even in titus 2 verse 1 to 8 we can read the apostle said people will not have a will won't have anything evil things to say about you apostle said apostle paul said no the people will not cannot say any evil thing against you why because they know that you your lips your tongue are speaking of the truth no this man speaks of the truth this man is honest this man is not a liar he does not speak lies he brings good tidings and the people will um just like what king solomon said um these words are sweet to their soul to the souls sweet to the souls around you friends in our physical battle physical warfare <clears throat> against covid 19 cover the ma mouth with mask so that you can help stop the spread of the virus and in our spiritual journey cover the mouth with goodness that the lips may utter sound speech and stop the spread of what of hurtful words cover the mouth with goodness cover the mouth with the truth the word is there oh, your word is a, a lamp unto my uh, i mean the word of god is the truth jesus christ is the truth cover your lips with the truth speak of the truth always now can you do that by always reading the truth hearing truths and living by the truth friends we can also not just in our spiritual journey but others spiritual journey we can help by what by using a face mask cover this destructive force and use this to what to speak of sound doctrine and sound speech may god bless all this morning and may we all be blessed by this wonderful message of a prevention against covid 19 and a great advice in our spiritual journey. God bless you.